If I mention the word Linktree to you, you'll probably think straight away of Instagram. And that's because a lot of people use Linktree to store multiple links all in the one place and then use that one link in their bio on their Instagram account. I know there's loads of other platforms out there that do the same thing, but Linktree seems to be the one that everyone has heard of. Hello, hello, Sharon here. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own Linktree page using their free version. So let's crack on. First things first, before setting up your Linktree page, I suggest you grab yourself a cuppa, sit down with pen and paper and list the links that you want to include in your Linktree page. Ask yourself who your target audience is and where you want to take them when they first click into your page. What links will be most beneficial to them? Also think about the order of the links. Which do you want them to see first? Remember that the majority of people will be looking at this on their phone. So think about which links you want positioned at the top before they start scrolling down the page. There are loads of possibilities of links to include and these are just some of them. Use your imagination and think carefully of where you want to direct people to. At the time of recording this, there's no limit to the number of links you can include on your page with a free account. However, it's worth remembering that if you give people too many options, they end up not clicking anything at all as there's a feeling of overwhelm or information overload. So just bear that in mind when creating your own page. So now you've got some examples of what you can do, I'll show you how to actually create the page. The first thing you need to do is go to the Linktree website, which is linktr.com. E -E. and this is the landing page that you'll come across and you need to sign up for free so click on the sign up for free button in the top right corner here so this is the free account you need to put in a username so this is basically your brand or your business name or your own name whatever is recognizable to other people so I already have an account for Sharon's tutorials so I'm going to put in a new name and you'll have the little green tick appear to say that that username is actually available then put in your email address and give yourself a password. Tick the box to say you accept their terms and conditions and then go to sign up with email. So you now need to put in your full name. You now select a category that best describes what your page is going to be used for. So for my example, it's going to be education because it's tips and tutorials that I'm going to be putting on my Linktree page. And I'm going to say e-learning um, and then just tick I'm not a robot and then continue. Then pick your plan. So we're going to go with the free version. And this basically tells you what you have available here and sign up for free. OK, so you now have to click the link that will be emailed to you for verification just to make sure that you are who you say you are and that will open up then, you can then log in properly. So this is the screen that um, will appear when you first log in after you've verified your account. So I'm gonna go back into my own Linktree account now so you can see my own page that I have now. So if you go into appearance across the top, this is where you put in your profile title. So I've just put Sharon's tutorials, then a short bio, and then you have your themes down here. Obviously the ones that have pro next to them are locked purely for the pro account. So you can only do the ones that don't have pro next to them. There's still quite a few to choose from though, so it's not too bad. And then obviously you've got the, the Halloween one here, which is what I'm using at the moment. So to put in your logo, you can just pick an image. So you can upload from your own computer, you can design it with Canva. And then here you can select where your images are stored and which image to choose from. So that's pretty straightforward. The next go into your settings across the top. And this is where you put in your social media accounts. Basically for, if you scroll down to the very bottom, these three icons here are my social media and email address. So again, you have features that are just purely for the pro account, but the ones that are for free are your social icons. So you can position, you can choose where you want to position them either the top or the bottom of the page. So if I say in this top, and you can see here, then now move to the top. Put in your email address, put in the links for the various social media that you, that you have. There's quite a few there to choose from. And that's it, that's all that's in the settings. And now go to the links on your menu. So you can see that my links here have little icons next to them all. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. To add a link, all you need to do is click add new link. Put in the title of the link, for example, I can just put one my blog and then paste the URL for that link into there. And as soon as you click off it, you can see the changes made in the preview on the right hand side here. So you can see there my blog. You can add an image if you want to or an icon. So click on thumbnail. 
then click set thumbnail and you can either upload your own thumbnail from your PC or you can choose from the icons that are available here and you can just search for book and again on just get rid of that now and again on the right hand side here you can see that the icons appeared next to the link if you want to keep the settings for this particular link but you don't want it to appear on your link tree page at the moment then just click on this button here on the right hand side to switch it off and it will disappear from here on the preview you can see it's no longer there but your settings and everything are still here they're still visible to you switch it back on again and it will automatically reappear again on your preview to move it into a different position just click and drag on the three dots on the left hand side here you can click and drag it down and you can see it's moved again on the right hand side scroll back up again and move it back up and it's changed again here there's a few icons on here that you aren't able to do with a free account for example the leap link prioritizer link schedule a link if at any time you want to actually remove this link completely and get rid of it altogether then just click on the trash can here and you can delete this forever so onto a few more exciting links that you can add that are actually quite good for the free account and that's when you click on explore links so this allows you to add video links music headers um, you can put in a contact form if you want to and you can accept donations or requests receive requests and payments etc from your visitors you can see I actually added in a header here video tutorials with all my videos underneath in in categories so to add a header all you need to do click on add header and put in a title so you can see I've added a header here gmail tutorials again you can switch it on and off if you want to if you don't want it to be visible on your page another really good feature is the ability to embed a video in your actual linktree page itself so to do that all you need to do is go to explore links and add a video link so it says here you can get videos from youtube vimeo tiktok or facebook so click on add video link then you need to put in the title put in the link to the video here click off there and you can see here the YouTube link is now highlighted here and some video options have appeared underneath it. So you can either display the video actually on your Linktree page or you can link off to the actual website itself. So visitors will click on the link and they'll automatically be taken over to the actual site that holds the video like YouTube, for example. If you want it embedded actually in your Linktree page itself, then click display this video on my Linktree. Then you have a couple of display options here as well. So you have it to auto play. So as soon as people click on, click, click to view it, it will automatically start playing. You can also mute the video. So I'm gonna switch both of those off because I don't want either of those. And I'm gonna leave it so it displays the video on my link tree. And you can see, I'm just gonna move this underneath here. And you can see here, it's now underneath the Gmail tutorials and there's the video. If you click onto here, the video now appears on my Linktree page and you can press play to play it and to minimize it again there's a little cross underneath to click there and it will automatically minimize it. So I think it works really well if you have a video where you're introducing yourself or what you do, your services, your products, whatever it is, your brand as a whole etc. It's just a really good way to introduce yourself to people who are new to your page who haven't seen you before or don't know what you do. It's a really good idea just to embed a video in your Linktree page at the very beginning. Another really good feature in the Explore links is a form link. So if you click on Add Form Link and select Form Type, click on the arrow, and the only option we have on a free account is a contact form, which again is really good. It's just another way of getting people to stay on your Linktree page, but they can still get in touch with you. So in the title, I'll just put say hello. And then the settings at the bottom here, you can choose which fields are required. So I just want name, email address, and the message. And then you can choose where the responses are going to be sent. So I'm just gonna say email. And then you put in the email address of where the responses are gonna go. Your additional settings, you can put in a description if you want to. Thank you message if you want to. And then you can link to your own terms and conditions that's shown to visitors. So if you put that on, you then put in the URL to your own terms and conditions and your privacy policy, etc. So once you're happy with that, you can close that down and then just position wherever you want this to be. So again, if you go over to the preview, you can see it here, say hello. There's a little arrow next to it, click on there and there's the form that people can fill in. 
and then just press across again to get rid of it. It's a really handy feature, especially in a free account as well, it's really good. I hope you're finding this video helpful so far. If it has helped you, then please help me by liking it. I really do appreciate it. And if you want more tips and tutorials, then hit the subscribe button. Thanks a million. With regards to the analytics to the page, you have lifetime analytics at the top here that tells you how many times it's been, been viewed and how many clicks you have in total for the whole page. And then for each link individually, there's a little graph here that tells you how many times that particular link has been clicked. That's the only information you will get in a free account. So once you're happy with your page and you have everything set up where you want it to be, the next thing you want to do is start telling everybody where to find it. And to do that, you can click on the share button at the top right corner here. It can automatically add Linktree to your social media accounts that you've put into your settings. So for example, if I click on here, add Linktree to my social media, it's got my Instagram and my YouTube channel because they're the only social media accounts that I have. So I can automatically add that straight away to there if I want to. You can quickly share it on any of these platforms here. You can get a QR code if you want to, just quickly download the QR code that's unique to you. Or you can just copy the URL and, and paste it wherever you want to. For example, at the end of your email signature. And if at any time you actually want to see what an actual page looks like in full screen on your desktop, then all you need to do is click on the link here at the top, in the top right. That will open up a new tab and it will show you what it looks like on screen. So you can see anytime there's um, anything to, to be minimized or maximized, then it will have a little arrow, a drop down arrow here. So for example, this one here, click on the arrow and this is the video that you can watch embedded actually in your Linktree page. And then the form as well, this is what the form looks like on the desktop. And then just click the cross at the bottom to minimize it again. So what about you? Do you use Linktree already? If not, do you use a different one? Let me know in the comments what you use. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.